Hi everyone, this is Maria from the Plant in Aft and today we have another video for you guys about how to identify your cactus. So let's get started. So what kind of cactus do I have? Got a cactus at home but don't know its species? So prickly beauty at your friend's place and want to get one for yourself? Cactus identification is not as complicated as you might think. In this video, we're going to talk about the most common cactus types in the US and learn how to identify your cactus from a handful of features. What are the most popular cacti in the USA? So there are several types of cacti and succulents that are extremely popular among plant lovers in the US. Number one is the golden barrel cactus. This cactus is globe-shaped and has a ripped stem with prickly yellow spines that can be even dangerous. It's perfect for growing on patios and conservatories and doesn't need a lot of care. Just like most cacti, this one needs a lot of sunlight and a little bit of watering in summer and in spring. The next one is Opuntia or a prickly pear cactus. This species is noted for a segmental, oval and flat stem that are dotted with spines on both sides. Opuntias are drought resistant and don't require a lot of maintenance. But keep in mind that a lot of subspecies can have toxic spines that can cause allergic reactions. The next one is saguaro. Saguaro cacti are native to the Sonoran Desert and can grow up very big and tall in natural conditions. A 10-year-old saguaro can be only a 10 inches tall, but a mature plant can reach 60 feet tall. If you got this one, keep in mind that it does not tolerate frost and that you have to water it both sparingly in winter and in summer. Ripsalis. Ripsalis is a different breed. It originates from warm and humid rainforests and has long and trailing spineless stems so it won't tolerate dry conditions and needs watering at least once a week. It is interesting to know that there are some cacti species that are actually forbidden to grow in the US. Some of them, like the ad cactus, contain psychoactive substances and are only allowed to use by the indigenous communities. Others, like jointed prickly pear, are prohibited for invasiveness. Either way, you are very unlikely to have one of these, so let's move on in our cacti identification. There are several most common cactus types that can generally help you answer the question, what is this cacti? The first one is Columna. Columna's cacti are cacti with very tall and gated bodies that grow tall and resemble a tree. Candlestick cacti, woolly cacti and sugaros are in this group, to name a few. Spineless cacti. Most cacti have spines, but some of them do not. Most spineless varieties originate from human selection. Spineless opuntia is usually the most common hybrid that you find in the stores. There are also flowering cacti. All of the cacti flower, but some of them are really easy to flower indoor at your home garden. These include, for example, Mamaluria, Gymnacolisium, and Parodia. There are also desert cacti. Desert cacti such as saguaro or golden barrel originate in the desert and require dry and sunny conditions. Forest cacti. Forest cacti, by contrast, come from tropical forests and need more watering and less sunlight. Perfilis, Easter cactus and Christmas cactus are one of this type. There are only a few steps left to properly answer the question, what is my cactus name? So, cactus identification characteristics. I have my own identification guide to understand what kind of species I'm dealing with. For a quick cactus identification, I pay attention to these features. The first one is stems. Cactus stems can be smooth or ripped, covered with spines or only aerials. Some cacti have tubercles, growths that sprout from other parts of the plant. The next one is spines. If your cactus have spines, they can still look very different. Some are soft and rather hair-like, while others are long and sharp. Leaves. It is important to look at your cacti leaves. 90% of the cacti do not have them, but some may have. If you've got one with leaves, it greatly narrows the pool of the alternatives. Color. Color is also very important for cactus ID. Some of the species are purely green, but others can have a green, brown, or yellowish body. Flowering styles. You can also identify your cactus by the look of the flowers. Some cacti may have bright or pale flowers in different forms. Plus, it can be very helpful to look at the time of the year that your cactus blooms. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the beautiful flowers. How to identify that a cactus can bloom flowers? Well, one of the easiest ways to identify if the cactus can do that is to read the label on your cactus. 
However, there are some signs that can hint you that your plant can bloom very, very soon. The first one is a flower-like bud. If you notice a flower-like bud on your plant, this is a very good sign. But be patient though, because it may take even up to a few years for it to open up. Another one is terminal spine or the central rib. If you notice that the terminal spine has a pinky purple coloration, it will bloom very, very soon. The next one is age. If the plant is between 2 to 4 years old, it's very likely that it's gonna bloom. Blooming is very rare in cacti that are more than 4 years old. For your plant to bloom, it should live in a very stress-free and most nature-like environment. Good lighting, regular watering and well-draining soil will increase your chances of seeing the very charming blooms of your cacti. So is there an app that helps you identify cacti? Even my guide may not cover all the nuances, so what to do if you're in doubt? Blend in, it's not just about identification. You identify the cactus and then what? Blend in provides care instructions for each cactus species, sends you watering reminders and adjusts to your weather conditions. You also get an access to a collection of professionally written articles on gardening and houseplant care topics. And if your plant is in trouble, the botanists are ready to help. This is all that I have for you for today, guys. Don't forget to check out all of the links in the description boxes and get the app to try and scan and identify more of the plants that you have at home. It was very nice seeing you in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hit the notification button and let us know in the comments what troubles you about your plants so we can help you more with our videos and see what kind of stuff is troubling you. This was Maria from the Plantin app. Have a very good rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!